Do you long for a deeper sense of meaning and purpose? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're taking a journey through history to explore the art of living, as taught by three of the greatest philosophical traditions in human history, Stoicism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. Welcome to Black Rock Inspired. These ancient wisdom traditions may have originated in different parts of the world, but they share a common goal, to help us live a more fulfilling, ethical, and peaceful life. In this video, we'll take a closer look at each of these philosophies, highlighting their key principles and practices, and showing you how they can be applied in your daily life. If you're interested in exploring these philosophies further and embarking on a transformative journey, check out the resources in the description below. These hand-picked links will help you uncover the wisdom of Stoicism, Buddhism, and Confucianism as you pursue personal growth and self-discovery. Now let's dive into the video. In a bustling marketplace of Athens around 300 BC, a wise man named Zeno of Sidium began to teach a new way of thinking. Stoicism emerged, offering guidance on how to lead a virtuous life by cultivating inner resilience and emotional mastery. The Stoics believed that by focusing on what we can control, and accepting what we cannot, we could find peace and harmony in the face of life's challenges. Far away in the enchanting land of India around the 5th century BC, a young prince named Siddhartha Gautama embarked on a life-altering journey. He renounced his royal life to seek the truth about suffering and the path to liberation. Through his enlightenment, he became the Buddha, the Awakened One. Buddhism blossomed, teaching the Four Noble Truths and the Noble Eightfold Path as the way to end suffering and achieve enlightenment. Meanwhile, in the vibrant and prosperous land of China, an astute philosopher named Confucius or Kongzi walked the earth around the 5th century BCE. He sought to restore harmony in a society plagued by turmoil. Confucianism took root, emphasizing the importance of moral character, family values, and social order. The five relationships and the golden rule became the backbone of Confucian ethics, guiding individuals and rulers alike toward a harmonious society. Though separated by vast distances and cultural differences, these three philosophical traditions flourished, their wisdom echoing through the ages. Stoicism, Buddhism, and Confucianism became beacons of hope and guidance for countless generations, illuminating the path to inner peace, wisdom, and a meaningful life. And so, the legacy of these ancient teachings lives on continuing to inspire and enlighten those who seek the art of living. At the core of Stoicism lay powerful principles that guided its followers on their path to inner peace, the dichotomy of control. This reminded them that some things were within their power while others were not, and you have to embrace that distinction. Following that, you also have to live in accordance with nature. This meant aligning oneself with the natural order of the universe and finding harmony within its rhythm. Above all, the Stoics held virtue as the sole good, the ultimate purpose that would lead to a life of meaning and fulfillment. The Stoics, ever practical, also developed a set of practices that would help them embody their principles in daily life. For example, negative visualization. This is a Stoic practice where one mentally imagines potential adverse scenarios in life. By contemplating these possibilities, individuals cultivate gratitude for their present circumstances and build mental resilience, preparing them to better cope with any future challenges or setbacks. With that comes self-reflection. This became a cherished habit as they scrutinized their actions and thoughts each day, refining their character. Finally, mindfulness. This was essential as they cultivated a present moment awareness, allowing them to navigate life with grace and wisdom. Through these practices, the Stoics journeyed toward a life of tranquility, courage, and virtue, their legacy echoing through the ages, inspiring those who yearn for inner mastery. Now let's travel to the enchanting land of ancient India. At the very heart of Buddhism lies a wealth of profound principles that gently steer its followers on a journey towards inner peace and enlightenment. Central to this philosophy are the Four Noble Truths, which unveil the nature of suffering, its causes, and the means to transcend it. These truths provide a solid foundation upon which Buddhists can build their understanding of life and its challenges. Complementing this foundation is the Noble Eightfold Path, a practical and comprehensive roadmap to liberation. This path emphasizes the importance of ethical conduct, mental discipline, and wisdom, guiding practitioners towards a life of balance and harmony. In addition to these core tenets, the three universal truths further enrich the Buddhist worldview. These truths, Impermanence, suffering, and non-selves serve as poignant reminders of the ever-changing, interconnected nature of existence. 
They encourage Buddhists to embrace the transience of life, to acknowledge the ubiquitous presence of suffering, and to recognize the illusory nature of the self. In order to truly embrace these principles, Buddhists devote themselves to a diverse array of transformative practices that nurture personal growth and spiritual development. At the forefront of these practices is meditation, which serves as a cornerstone in the quest for inner peace. Utilizing a multitude of techniques, practitioners cultivate mindfulness, concentration, and insight, honing their ability to navigate life's complexities with grace and wisdom. Another indispensable practice is loving-kindness or metta, which seeks to foster compassion and empathy towards oneself and all beings. By nurturing an open heart and an embracing spirit, Buddhists strengthen their connection to others and the world around them. Alongside these practices, the contemplation of impermanence plays a vital role, reminding practitioners of life's fleeting nature. This awareness encourages gratitude and a deeper appreciation of the human experience. Through their commitment to these practices, Buddhists embark on an enriching journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Their footsteps, carefully placed on the path to enlightenment, serve as an enduring source of inspiration for countless others seeking inner peace and liberation. In the vibrant realm of ancient China, at the foundation of Confucian philosophy, lie several key principles that serve as guiding stars for those who follow its teachings. Ren, or benevolence, represents the essential virtue of compassion and empathy, and forms the bedrock of human relationships. Li, or ritual propriety, governs the proper conduct of individuals, ensuring social harmony and order. Zhang, or loyalty, emphasizes the importance of devotion to one's family, friends, and rulers, while Xiao, or filial piety, underscores the significance of respect and reverence for one's parents and ancestors. Incorporating these principles into daily life, Confucianism offers a range of practices that cultivate personal growth and social harmony. Filial piety forms a central pillar, guiding individuals to honor and cherish their parents and ancestors, recognizing the sacrifices made on their behalf. Self-cultivation, the ongoing process of refining one's moral character and wisdom, is another essential practice, fostering personal growth and ethical living. Finally, ritual propriety permeates every aspect of life, from interpersonal relationships to governance, ensuring that each individual plays their part in maintaining a harmonious and prosperous society. Through these practices, Confucianism weaves a tapestry of interconnectedness, inviting us all to contribute to a world that cherishes wisdom, virtue, and harmony. What are the similarities to these doctrines? As we delve into these philosophies, certain common themes and principles emerge, transcending time and place. All three traditions emphasize the importance of ethical living, recognizing that a virtuous life is the key to inner peace and social harmony. Self-cultivation is another shared concept, as Stoics, Buddhists, and Confucians alike strive to refine their character, wisdom, and understanding of the world around them. Moreover, each tradition acknowledges the significance of community, understanding that our relationships with others are integral to our well-being and personal growth. Despite these commonalities, the three philosophies differ in emphasis and approach. Stoicism, for instance, focuses on the cultivation of inner resilience and the mastery of one's emotions, emphasizing the dichotomy of control and the pursuit of virtue as the sole good. Buddhism, on the other hand, revolves around the elimination of suffering and the attainment of enlightenment, offering a practical path in the form of the Noble Eightfold Path. Confucianism, with its deep-rooted connection to Chinese culture, concentrates on creating a harmonious society through moral character, filial piety, and ritual propriety. In the end, these unique nuances render each philosophy a distinct and valuable guide, inviting us to explore their depths, weave their wisdom into our lives, and illuminate the path to self-discovery and fulfillment. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, Buddhism, and Confucianism can offer invaluable guidance, providing us with tools and perspectives to deal with stress, make ethical decisions, and cultivate inner peace. Drawing from Stoicism, we can apply the dichotomy of control in our daily lives to help manage stress and maintain emotional equilibrium. By focusing on what we can control, our actions, thoughts, and reactions, and accepting what we cannot, we develop greater resilience in the face of adversity. Additionally, the stoic practice of negative visualization can foster gratitude and prevent us from taking our blessings for granted. Buddhism offers valuable practices to enhance our mental well-being such as meditation and mindfulness. Incorporating these techniques into our routines can help us develop greater focus, awareness, and emotional balance, 
enabling us to handle life's challenges more effectively. Furthermore, the cultivation of loving-kindness encourages us to practice compassion and empathy towards ourselves and others, fostering positive relationships and a sense of interconnectedness. Confucianism's emphasis on ethical living, filial piety, and ritual propriety can inspire us to make more conscious choices in our personal and professional lives. By reflecting on the principles of Ren and Li, we can strive to act with integrity and consideration for others, fostering harmony and trust within our communities. The Confucian ideal of self-cultivation urges us to continuously improve ourselves, nurturing personal growth and moral development. However, applying these ancient philosophies in modern times is not without challenges and limitations. Our fast-paced, technology-driven society may make it difficult to find the time and space for reflection, meditation, or the cultivation of virtue. Additionally, the cultural and historical contexts of these philosophies may present challenges in adapting their teachings to our contemporary world. Despite these obstacles, the enduring wisdom of Stoicism, Buddhism, and Confucianism continues to inspire and guide us, offering insights into how we can lead more fulfilling, ethical, and harmonious lives. Conclusion The ancient wisdom of these philosophies offers valuable insights into the art of living. Each doctrine shares common themes, such as ethical living and self-cultivation, while offering unique perspectives and practices that can enhance our daily lives. We are called to explore these philosophies further, embracing their insights and integrating them into the tapestry of our lives. In doing so, we cultivate a life of purpose, balance, and harmony, mastering the art of living in accordance with these enduring traditions. As always, we appreciate your support and hope that this video has been informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, please like and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Additionally, we've included some links below to resources and products that can help you further explore the concepts covered in this video. We value your feedback and suggestions, so please feel free to leave a comment or send us a message with any thoughts or ideas you may have. Thank you for watching.